Master Blaster had to answer one of the videos that I put out last week. And now, Anachronic Comics just responded to another video that I put out this week. It sounds like this is an amazing comic book community that loves to interact. YouTube it's Matt here now like I talked about people are responding to videos that I'm putting out Master Blaster and Master Blaster and I had a nice little back and forth last week that was a lot of fun we called it Stampgate 2022 it was a lot of fun with a little bit of threatening going on but truthfully guys I had a few people reach out to me I feel like they were truly concerned about how Master Blaster and I are. The truth is, Master Blaster and I are really good friends. We have, we live across the country. He lives in a great state of Arizona. I'm out here in Pennsylvania, or he's out there and I'm here. But anyhow, we have met multiple times and we have plans to meet again. Guys, it's a really good friendship and it's one that I want to continue. So our little back and forth video of Stampgate and I'm threatening with a pitchfork, all of that is just good fun with a really, really good friend. In fact, I wanna show off a couple of books that I got months ago from Master Blaster or through Master Blaster. The second one's a really cool story. There was somebody else who helped to make that, that transaction possible. Now, I've talked about it in videos in the past. Guys, I've been a comic book collector for a long time, but the truth is, many people didn't know that I even collected comic books. Uh, since I started this YouTube channel almost three years ago, I, pretty much everyone I work with, they know that I collect comic books. But honestly, before that, guys, I had family members that truly had no idea. Well, I'm gonna, I'll get back to that. but. There was one thing in my life that I always wanted to do. I always wanted to meet Stan Lee, and I always wanted to get his signature. And I talked to my wife multiple times. I'm like, I need to go to a comic book convention, which I had never been to. And I, I just want to meet Stan Lee, shake the guy's hand, get him to sign something for me, send it off, get it graded. And honestly, that would have been an amazing experience for me. But... Ah, uh, we know in 2018, Stan Lee sadly passed away. And I just never got to meet him. And I just, that's one regret with my comic book collecting hobby that I truly, truly do regret. But a few years ago, my mother for my birthday got me something really cool. She got me a trading card. And it's not graded, but it's encapsulated. And on this... It has Stan Lee's signature on it. I, and I think that that is an amazing gift for my mother who, truthfully, she didn't know that I collected comic books. Because guys, I didn't start collecting comic books until I was in my late 20s. And I mean, honestly, gosh, that was 20 some years ago. It was a while ago. But, so I hadn't lived at home and I'm collecting comic books. My mother had heard me talk about them. I don't think she had a true understanding of what a being a collector is. So when she gave me this, I was just absolutely thrilled and honored by that. And it's a great signature and it is super dope, but I kind of wanted a Stanley signature. Now, guys, let's get back to Master Blast. He's the world's expert on Stanley's signature books. He has this goal. Guys, this goal blows my mind. This goal is, it is a great goal. It is. He wants to get ASM, Amazing Spider-Man 1 to 100. All 100 books in that first run, he wants to get them signed and graded. Yellow label. He's yellow label for life. He lives in the yellow ocean. Kind of gross, but that's all right. He loves it. In fact, guys, I was just talking to him, and I never had one signed book before meeting Master Blaster. Guys, 
I have about 16 of them in this comic book room now that and I have a couple more coming back so he has got me into having signed comic books yellow label well I kind of wanted a Stanley graded book and he had some he posted a couple online and I'm like oh, I bet you I know who's selling these I reached out to him privately and yes he was well I actually asked I said hey buddy listen you are the expert on this and you have some that you're selling are you willing to sell me any and he did have one he had a really dope ASM 325 I mean you have the red skull on here you have the Capitol building in the background you have spider-man and you have a dope Stanley signature right on there guys I was blown away he offered it to me you know he gave me the price boom I shipped it off and I now have this book in the collection and this book is special for multiple reasons one this was one of Master Blaster's first runs. He wanted to get the Todd McFarlane run on ASM. He wanted to get those signed and yellow labeled. And this is a part of that collection. He has since been parting with some of these so that he can work on that one to 100. But what an, an amazing book to have. So this is special because this was special to my friend Master Blaster. This is special because it has a Stan Lee and you guys may or may not know this, but Master Blaster and I are both in the United States Air Force. At least I was in the United States Air Force. And this is a patriotic cover. It has a flag on it. it. means a lot to me. It's just really, really cool book to have in the collection. That book will never leave my collection. So Master Blaster, when you're old and gray and you want to see that book again, I will tell you exactly where it's at. Not that I'm ever letting you come in a house or anything like that, but I might send you pictures of it. Guys, I'm just joking. Anyhow, there's another book, okay? This book was a part of Master and Madam Blaster's YouTube channel. They had a giveaway. Well, this book is famous because this is a Todd McFarlane signed ASM 323. It's not graded, but what makes this really, really special is it has a rusty staple this bottom staple you've got it i mean if you're looking at it from the front you can't tell but if you're looking at it from the side you can tell it has a rusty staple now another really great friend 11x bravo he ended up being the winner of this giveaway on her channel well he collects certain books okay this wasn't one of the ones that he is looking to collect he shipped it out on community and he shipped it out to somebody that he thought would like it. Well, there's the truth, buddy. Alas, I love this book. I think it's amazing. Thank you very much. Master Blaster, uh, Madam Blaster, thank you. I really appreciate that. Now, to talk about another great member of the community, somebody that piggybacked on my video today, although I'm actually quite flattered that he did. Um, Anachronic Comics has a great YouTube channel. And guys, the description of Master and Madam Blaster, their YouTube channel will be down in the description. And so will the link to Anachronic Comics YouTube channel. Now, he put out a video today and he said, you know, Matt Woods didn't get it all right or something to that effect. Now, a lot of people, okay, Richard Veith, Phil-tastic Phil, okay, I read a couple of your comments on his video and both of you guys thought this was going to be one of those joke videos that Master Blaster and I were doing back and forth. But no, Joe put out a great informational video about facsimile comic books. And guys, go check that out because he really did a great job on discussing that some facsimiles can rise in value. And honestly, guys, that's not all. Some other reprints that I'm really bullish on, guys... I'm truly not an influencer, at least I don't want to be an influencer, even though, Tina, you have been calling me an influencer lately, and I yeah, I don't know if I agree with you, Tina, but listen, I'll never argue with the great Tina, so maybe I am an influencer. But, but truthfully, one book that I truly think is undervalued, and I think will eventually become extremely valuable, are the 1966 golden record reprints of some of the early Marvel books, ASM-1, 
uh, Avengers, Avengers number four, uh, you know, books like that. You know, X Men one. I think they had um, great books. The Golden Record reprints, guys. Those books are very underrated, and they're reprints. And there was also a reprint of Action Comics number one done in the late seventies that I think is very valuable right now, and it just keeps on growing. So. Even though I showed my video about facsimiles not really being worth a whole lot, and I, most of them aren't, but every now and then, some of them do rise up in value. But Joe does something amazing. Every Christmas season, he has a charity event. He did a great charity event, and the charity this year is Tunnels to Towers, okay? And a great event that helps uh, families that were affected by 9-11. Last year, he had a charity that helped, a, or a fundraiser that helped St. Jude's Hospital, okay? Joe does an amazing job, and what he does is he makes mystery boxes, and he puts things in a mystery box, and this year I was able to buy one. I wanted to buy one last year, but by the time I watched the video, and by the time I clicked on the link to go buy a mystery box for charity, boom, they were all sold out. So this year, I was able to luck out and get one, but we'll show what came in the mystery box that Joe had sent here. Oh, I pin, actually, I think I'm looking one, two, I think this is my fourth pin, Joe. Thank you very much, big guy. Oh, he sent a card, uh, Scout Comics, uh, Wolfborn, to be honest with you, I'm not real, I've never heard of that, but you know, Scout Comics has put out a lot of great stories. They're a good indie uh, comic book company. And I think they're only going to rise up and uh, not rise up, but I think they're just going to gain more popularity as time goes on. So uh, Joe wrote, you know, a nice little heartfelt note here. But let's start to see what books are in here. Not, I mean, honestly, there's quite a bit of books in here. And Joe did a great job packing. Ooh, look at this. Wildstorm Wildcats. It would issue this number one. Yeah, a super dope book right there. Ha <laughs> ha! Joe is my DC buddy, and I, I've been giving him a lot of flack lately because of the James Gunn story and the DCEU, and some of the characters are not, or not characters, but the actors are not going to be asked back. And right here, Flash, Flash, All Flash, number one, September of 07. Super dope looking cover. Ooh, another DC book, Crime Syndicate, number one. Look at this. Oh, dang. This is a great book. This is a variant cover to Alien, number one. A 1 in 25 uh, variant cover. Very, very hot. Okay, nice book right there. And, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I love DC Comics, okay? DC Comics are what I... Grew up liking the Superman movie, um, the Justice League, the Super Friends on Saturday morning cartoons. Love the DC characters. Still love the DC characters. But truthfully, I probably read more Marvel now than I do DC. But the art on some of the DC books is just absolutely stunning. I I just love the artists that they have and that works for DC. And what a stunning cover. Batman, Catwoman, number one. Oh, a Blackthorn Publishing. A, this is a cool book, guys. Star Wars 3D, okay? I'm a giant Star Wars fan. Although, somebody asked me recently, do you like Star Trek more or Star Wars? I like them both. And some people are one or the other. I like them both. But guys, there's something about Star Trek. I absolutely like Star Trek a little bit more than Star Wars. But when I say a little bit, I mean, they're, they're like 1A and 1B. Right up there. <gasps> Blue Beetle! Nice. Blue Beetle number four, okay? This series came out in the 80s, 86, okay? I actually, I told you, I didn't start collecting comic books till my late 20s. Guys, in 86, I was 10 years old is what I was. Um, this is one of the books that I bought off a newsstand in uh, the local drugstore. I read that when I was 10 years old. And, ooh, I don't even know what this book is. I'm going to have to take it apart and look what it is. But 
It's got a super dope sketch cover on it. Ooh, 50 Years of Fury. 50 Years of Fury, number one. Okay, what year would this be? Doesn't say the year, but it's a relatively modern book. 50 Years of Fury, so I'm going to say 2000s, okay? Whoa, look at this. JLA 101, okay? Amazing book in here. You know, I don't know. Is that... This would be a Bronze Age book, but an amazing Bronze Age, Bronze Age book. Ooh, oh my. We got two. Two super dope uh, Silver Age books, okay? Mystery in Space, number 109. Kind of cool looking books here. I mean, I'm really digging this. Who doesn't love giant fighting tortoises that wear little men on their back, okay? Look, they got little, like, like elephant carrier or people carriers and elephants back. They're on a tortoise back, okay? And Submariner and the Incredible Hulk number, it's the Tales to Astonish number 74, but Submariner and Incredible Hulk you know, super awesome Silver Age book. You know, Tales uh, to Astonish. Some great books came out of there. Some great stuff. But guys, I just want to let you know, the comic book community, the people that are in the comic book crowd, which is a video up above, which is on the Anachronic Comics YouTube channel. Guys, we are doing great, okay? The little f fun we had with the stamp gate and, you know, stuff like that. Guys, don't worry. We are still really good friends, and we're going to remain good friends. Although, be on a lookout for a uh, video every now and then where we act a little silly and act like we're mad at each other, but that's just part of the good fun. Guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you like the content of this channel. If you do, hit that uh, thumbs up, put a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I want to thank everybody for watching, and you have a great day.